So here's how it went down. Geckos aren't as scared over here as they are in Thailand. 20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob. Okay, so here's what happened on this trip. First, I have to say that this trip back around the world, I chose to fly with Emirates Air. If you have never flown with Emirates, I extremely and highly recommend flying with Emirates. I flew in the economy, and even in the economy class, it felt like a, a full service flight. I mean, there was a place to plug in your laptop. There was a place to plug in your phone. You got to watch the movies. They, the, it was wonderful. The food was, for airplane food, oh my God, it was like a seven course meal. Um, I'm not making that up. There was like seven little dishes that you had on there. From beginning all the way to dessert, and then uh, of course cocktails, water, whatever you wanted to drink, everything. It was just a grand experience. I love flying Emirates Air. They work in conjunction, I think, with JetBlue here. So the last leg I had here to Florida was JetBlue, which was fine. Now what happened to me when I got back was the whole train wreck of events that happened. Okay. I had already booked a rental car to rent while I was here in Florida, but as soon as I got to the rental car place, I did not have, my license had expired over in Thailand. My license is current here in the United States, but I didn't have the physical one. Because why? Because I'm not in the United States. So my license is current with the DMV, or excuse me, with the Department of Transportation and all, I'm good. But when I showed up at the kiosk to get the car, they said, do you have the new uh, license the physical new license I said no I can get you a copy of it and they said no we need the piece of plastic and I said but I can go on the DMV and show you that my license is current and they were like mm, it doesn't matter uh. now mind you I was keeping this a surprise so no one knew I was in Florida none of my friends here knew it so I didn't have anyone to come pick me up I was an hour away from where my destination was I went outside to get a shuttle. The shuttle wanted to charge me around 70 bucks just to get me where I needed to go. I went on my phone to look up Uber. The app had not updated. My phone is so old I was scared it wouldn't update. It updated, so I got an Uber driver and I got back over here, I think from Tampa to Sarasota, it cost me I think 56, 57 dollars or something like that. So it dropped me off at the, uh, at the hotel which I had just checked an hour ago and it had rooms available. And as soon as I walked in, the guy was like, I just sold the last room. And I just started laughing. I'm like, of course you did. Of course you did. So he called a guy and he said, the hotel across the way uh, has a room. So I'm toting three bags, walking in the road to get to this airport. I mean, to get to this hotel. And I got to the hotel and everything was fine. Um, a friend picked me up the next morning. I let someone know that I was here. And then once I got here to dog sit, where are they? Anyway, there's a spare vehicle and I was given the absolute right to drive it. And so I was so happy. So now I have a car and everything is good. But my travel from Thailand over to here was pretty good. 23 hours, uh, not too bad. I dozed off a whole lot during the flight. I'm getting so used to flying like that. And, um, yeah, again, Emirates Air. So, yeah, here's a little bit of the travel that got me over here. So here I am at the corner, waiting on a taxi cab to take me back to the airport so I can go on another adventure. A grenade. Never been to this side of the airport. This is a big plane. A big plane.
the most outstanding flight I have ever had in my entire life and the best airplane I've ever seen. It's a 777-300. The ceiling has stars in it. Why am I looking at the back of the camera? Sorry, the ceiling has stars in it. This is a really nice airport. It's three o'clock in the morning, so there's not anybody here. Well, except us. But I just saw in the plane that there was a whole connecting flight that's going straight to my destination that I didn't know about. So I'm going to see if I can change it and just go straight to Florida instead of going to New York and then to Florida. We'll see. The direct flight was to St. Petersburg. Russia. Not Florida. You want to buy anything? Jeez. Look at this place. Holy snikes. Um, what do you think? Get a car at the airport. Look at this elevator. Dude, this place never ends. They said it could take 45 minutes to get from one part to the to a connecting flight here sometimes. They have three trains going on down there or this level, whatever, whatever huge level this is. Unfortunately, it's really dark in here. But that big black background back there, that's a waterfall. Yeah, I found everything I need. These look like something from the Jetsons. If you know what the Jetsons are. So I've got a five hour layover in Dubai. So I gotta eat something, kill some time, and get back on a plane for like 13 hours, plug everything in there, and you know, just travel. Just travel. I think I over ordered. She said, do you want special? I said, sure, pizza and a beer. Jeez. Why does everybody want to be first on the plane? I've never understood, even my idol, Casey Neistat, always wants to be first on the plane, and I don't understand why you just want to run onto a plane, put your bag in and sit down, and then wait. But, or first to get off. I can understand that one. The plane from Phuket over to Dubai, brilliant, a 777-300, and it was almost completely empty. We had the whole plane, so we just take four seats in a row, lay down, sleep, had a ball. This one, on the other hand, is going to be the long flight. It's going to be 14 hours from Dubai to New York, and it looks like it's going to be pretty packed, so it's not going to be a sleeping plane. I actually love going all around the world now and seeing all the different people and cultures and everything. I forgot to tell you. They've got, in this airport, they have bum guns, and they're heated. Ah, yeah, there you go. That's just fun. Look at the size of this plane. That's a big plane.
back to America, please. They did. Oh, shh. Not goody goody.